Praised be the name of the Lord now and forever. My dear fathers, brothers, sisters and my beloved confreres, welcome to the Sunday theme of the 31st Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year B. The running theme of this Sunday is to love God and neighbor is the heart of true faith. To love God and neighbor is the heart of true faith. This theme centers on the two greatest commandments from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 12, 28 to 34, to love God with all our heart, soul, mind and strength and to love our neighbors as ourselves. These commandments are at the heart of Jesus' teaching and sum up all the laws and prophets, emphasizing that true faith is rooted in love. The theme calls us to examine how our relationship with God is mirrored in our relationships with others, inviting us to live out love in action to live out love in action. Now, the question arises before us, how can we love God and love our neighbors? How can we love God and love our neighbors? Loving God and our neighbors as Jesus loved requires us to adopt the selfless, sacrificial, and compassionate approach he modeled throughout his life. Here is how we can strive to love like Jesus. Point number one, seek God with wholehearted devotion and obedience. Seek God with wholehearted devotion and obedience. Loving God begins with a complete commitment to Him, shown by our obedience to His teachings. Jesus taught that true love for God is demonstrated by following His commandments with all our heart, soul and mind. This means prioritizing God's will in every aspect of our lives seeking Him through prayer, worship and living according to His word. We find in John 14, 15, John 14, 15, If you love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, keep my commandments. Again, in Matthew 22, 37 to 38, the, the same thing is repeated in Mark and Gospel of today's Gospel reading, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and the greatest commandments. The second point for us to serve others with compassion and humility. To serve others with compassion and humility. Jesus' love was marked by humble service and compassion. He served others selflessly, healing, feeding and teaching them without seeking anything in return. To love like Jesus, we are called to serve others with genuine care and to put their needs above our own. This includes being attentive to the marginalized, the poor and those suffering around us. Mark 10, 45, we find, For even the Son of Man came not to be served. For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Again, Philippians 2, 3 to 4, we find, Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, rather in humility value others, above yourself, not looking to your own interests, but each of you 
to the interests of the others. Point number three, how we can love God and neighbor in the better way could be forgive others and show mercy just as God forgives us. Forgive others and show mercy just as God forgives us. Luke 23, 34, Luke 23, 34, we find, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. A loveliest prayer ever the humanity has witnessed. Again, Colossians 3, 13, we find, bear with each other and forgive one another. If any of you has a grievance against someone, forgive as the Lord forgave you. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. Jesus taught us, my dear brothers and sisters, the depth of forgiveness when he forgave even those who crucified him. Loving our neighbors like Jesus involves letting go of grudges and extending mercy to others. When we forgive others as God has forgiven us, we reflect Christ's love and build stronger, more compassionate relationships. Point number four for our reflection could be love sacrificially willing to give of ourselves for others. Love sacrificially willing to give of ourselves for others. John 15, 12 to 13, we find, my command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. Again, First John 3, 16 to 18, we find, by this we know love that he laid down his life for us and we ought to lay down our lives for the brothers. Dear friends, Jesus' love was sacrificial, ultimately shown through his death on the cross. To love as Jesus loved means being willing to make sacrifices for the well-being of others. This could involve offering time resources or even enduring challenges to help someone in need. Jesus' sacrificial love reminds us that true love often requires self-giving and prioritizing others. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, to love God and our neighbors as Jesus did, we must obey God wholeheartedly serve others humbly, forgive freely and love sacrificially. By living these principles, we reflect the love of Christ in the world, fulfilling his command to love one another as he has loved us. This kind of love rooted in faith and action brings us closer to God and unites us with those around us in a bond of selfless compassion and mercy. Let us pray then for ourselves that we may truly love God and other human beings around us by seeking God with wholehearted devotion and obedience, by serving others with compassion and humility, by forgiving others and show mercy just as God forgives us and loving sacrificially and willing to give of ourselves for others. May the darkness of sin and the night of unbelief vanish before the light of the word and the spirit of grace and may the heart of Jesus live in the hearts of all people. Amen.